Today's lesson is on the climate of India. This is an introductory video where we will be discussing about the type of climate India enjoys owing to its location. In our subsequent lesson, we will discuss about the factors that determines the Indian climate and the major seasons of this country. The relevant links are provided in the description. You can check them. So let's start today's lesson. Well, you must have noticed that we dress differently at different points of the year. For instance, in the months of April to June, that is, during hotter days, we prefer wearing light colored cotton clothes. Again, in the months of heavy rainfall, that is, from July to September, it is almost impossible to go outside without an umbrella or raincoat. Also, in the months of December and January, that is at the coldest part of the year, we wear woolen clothes like sweaters, jackets, mufflers, shawls, etc. Now, why do you think we behave or dress differently at different points of the year? Well, this is because of change in seasons or change in climatic conditions. Now, as we can see here, these climatic conditions have significant influence on our lifestyle. Now, before discussing about the climate of India, let us first understand the meaning of climate. Well, climate refers to the atmospheric conditions that prevail for a prolonged period of time and over a vast region. In other words, climate is the long term pattern of weather over a vast area say a country now as we can see here places lying on same latitude experience similar type of climate now we already have excellent videos on latitude to revise about the topic you can refer to the link given at the top right corner of your screen so, as I was saying, places lying on the same latitude experience similar type of climate and in fact, the latitudes determine the climatic zones of the world. Well, according to this map, there are four major climatic zones. Firstly, we have the tropical zone. It exists between both the tropics that is Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Also, equator passes through the middle of this zone. Well, this zone has hot and humid climate that is high temperature as well as frequent rainfall throughout the year. Now, coming to the second climatic zone that is the subtropical zone. The subtropical zone is a narrow belt existing around both the tropics. The countries lying in the subtropical zone experiences hot and dry climate that is high temperature but very little amount of rainfall. In fact, most of the deserts of the world are located in this climatic zone. Now, the third climatic zone is the temperate zone. The temperate zone as we can see here exists in the middle latitudes between the tropics and the temperate circles. The north temperate zone is more pronounced than the south temperate zone. Now, the climate of temperate zone is moderate and pleasant. That is, this zone has warm summers and cool winters. Also, it rains here throughout the year. Now, coming to the last climatic zone, that is the polar zone. The polar zone exists between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere and between Antarctic Circle and the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere. The climate of polar zone is severely cold and dry. So these are the four major climatic zones of the world, tropical, subtropical, temperate and polar. Now, if we have a careful look at this map, then we can easily point out that India lies here, that is in the tropical and subtropical zone. Now, if we zoom into this map, then we shall find out that 
the tropic of cancer passes exactly through the middle of this country thus owing to its location india enjoys tropical monsoon climate that is india has hot and humid climate round the year that is it has high temperature as well as substantial rainfall yes rainfall is a significant and an important characteristic of indian climate now before proceeding with our lesson let us try to answer this question we will have to identify the important latitude that passes through the middle of indian subcontinent is it the arctic circle tropic of cancer equator or tropic of capricorn well you can't remember we just read that the important latitude that passes through the middle of indian subcontinent is yes the tropic of cancer so as mentioned just now india enjoys tropical monsoon climate now the word monsoon originates from an arabic word mausam which literally means season also monsoon implies the seasonal reversal of winds well we shall read about the seasonal reversal of winds later while discussing about the indian monsoon now although the majority of india enjoys tropical monsoon climate but there are perceptible regional variations within the country for instance the interior parts of central india and southern india experiences extreme temperature with very little rainfall as a result these regions experience semi arid climate now if you go to the western part of the country then the climate is even drier so the western part of the country experiences arid climate due to very scanty amount of rainfall on the contrary the coastal plains of india experience moderate temperature with high level of humidity also the northern plains of india experience humid subtropical climate now if you go to the mountains that is if you travel to the northernmost part of the country then you will find that the climate is cool and it experience mountain time of climate so this map shows the major climatic regions of india and here we find that there are significant variations in climate within a single country so this brings us to the end of today's discussion on indian climate in this lesson we understood that india enjoys tropical monsoon climate owing to its location that is because india lies in the tropical zone that is tropic of cancer passes through its middle therefore india experiences tropical monsoon climate also there are significant regional variations so the climate of india is quite diverse in our next lesson we shall try to focus on the factors that determine this diverse climate of india don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now